Hi, I'm NASCAR champion Jimmy Johnson. Science and math are two of the most important parts of NASCAR racing. They help us understand how to make our cars as fast and as safe as possible. Three of the most important concepts in racing are drag, downforce, and drafting. Together, they'll make up the three Ds of speed. They'll show us how the science of aerodynamics helps NASCAR drivers attack the track at over 200 miles per hour. It's all about how air flows over, under, and against the race car. The air around us is made up of billions of individual molecules. You can't see them, but when you're driving through them at a high speed, there's a resistance created. That's drag, and it has the effect of slowing the car down. Here's an easy example to help you understand drag. When you stick your hand out of a car window, the air pushes your hand backwards. If you raise your hand vertically against the air, it gets pushed back a lot. If you put your hand flat, it doesn't get pushed back nearly as much. We try to build our cars with the same idea. The more streamlined the shape, the more we can control the effects of drag. A certain amount of drag is important to have so we can keep the car under control, which keeps the racing both exciting and safe. When a car spins out, there are flaps on the roof and the hood that pop up and catch the air, keeping the car from flipping over and slowing it down before the wreck can get even worse, which would really be a drag. Now, let's talk about downforce. If there's one thing a driver always wants, it's more grip. Grip is how the tires stick to the pavement. The more grip we have, the less likely we are to spin out and the faster we can go. To get grip, we want to push the tires into the track as much as we can. So how do we do that without adding more weight to the car? We'll use the science of aerodynamics to create downforce. As a car passes through the air, the molecules above the car are slowed down at certain points, which creates an area of high pressure, pushing the car down. The air under the car is not slowed down, which creates an area of low pressure. This has the effect of sucking the car down into the racetrack. The combination of these high and low pressure areas above and below the car creates downforce, and as a result, the car has more grip. The engineers that build our cars spend a lot of time working to shape them to take advantage of the physics of airflow, using downforce to keep us driving around the track as fast as possible. And who doesn't love that? Have you ever watched a race and seen one car right behind the other, sometimes with barely an inch between them? Why would we want to risk everything being so close to the other car? The answer is drafting. When cars are spread out on the track, each car has to break through the air on its own, creating drag. When two cars are close together on the track, they're able to go faster because of drafting. The car in front breaks the air leaving a pocket behind that the second car can drive through with much less air resistance. The pocket of broken air sucks the two cars towards each other. Together, the two cars act like one big car. With drafting, two cars can go faster than one car by itself, by as much as five miles per hour. And when you get a bunch of cars together in the draft, everyone gains a ton more speed, and there's nothing cooler than speed. That's it, the three Ds of speed, drag, downforce, and drafting. They are the three key ways we use science, technology, engineering, and math to make fast and exciting racing for NASCAR fans all around the world. If you want to learn more about the science of racing, check out all the cool games and hands-on experiments at accelerationnation.com.